Praise be to God on this glorious day, everybody. Color Forty's back for more Donkey Kong Country Free. So, we finished Pacifica in the last episode, so today, first off, we're going to Bazaar's General Store so we can buy the last Fane at his store. Good day, Dixie. What can I do for you? Is that a mirror? Yes, it's no ordinary one, though. It was Cranky's great-grandfather's. I can't let it go for less than 50 coins. Can I interest you in buying this fabulous item? Yes, please. I can tell you now, Dixie, that you've made a very worthy purchase. Thanks for your business, Dixie. It really was a pleasure serving you. That guy's so nice. I wish all customer service people were like that, but admittedly, it's kind of hard to. Having been in customer service myself. All right. So. Nope. Okay. Let's try that again. Whoops. There we go. Barter swap shop. Can I swap something here? <laughs> Is that the mirror? If so, could I possibly borrow it? Um. Yeah, sure. Thanks for that, Dixie. Oh no! Look at the state of me. I'm a wreck. Take this wrench. I don't need it now. That guy is definitely not Irish, but whatever. <laughs> I'm trying to give each bear their own voice, so whatever. K Free, the snow world. So, we're on Crevice Creepers. You'd expect the first level to be a snow level, right? Wrong. It's a Wild West level. Literally, like, the opposite of a snow level. So, yep, Crevice Creepers are back. And this time they follow you wherever you go. So we've seen a couple bonus barrels that featured them. Alright. Uh, we don't need coins no more. So this level I feel like is not quite as interesting of a level as the Cliffside Blast was. Which is why I like starting with Cliffside Blast. Alright, right, this is not the way we're supposed to go. Or rather, that is the way we're supposed to go. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Collect 30 coins. Stars. Not coins. Sorry, I've been playing Mario Maker recently. Woohoo! Take that, Creeper. <laughs> creeper. It's that guy from Scooby-Doo, you know? Apparently he's in a TNT barrel, though, which uh, is, I think that's kind of a really bad idea. But to each their own, I guess. So what you want to do is, like, lure the creeper over there, and then go on the opposite end of the rope, so you have plenty of room to actually escape him. And sometimes you get free in a row. So be on the lookout for that. Is there a bonus barrel down here? Nope. Okay, well that was dumb on my part. That one's a pretty tricky one to do, but that's also a pretty awesome one. And the creepers are getting faster. That's not good. That is seriously, though, one of the most gorgeous backgrounds in a platformer, platforming game. Like, look at the detail on the cliffs. It's so beautiful. Alright. Not out of the woods yet. And that's where I'm really glad we're playing the GBA version of the game. Not the Super NES version. Because the Super NES version, when you drop down from the rope, you actually like jump up a little bit before falling through it. So it's moving down through multiple ropes takes quite a while. Also, you don't grab on the rope immediately when you're jumping up. Okay, I'm not a fan of just this part of the song, it's nothing but noise. How do they know where we are? Can they see out of that TNT barrel? <sighs> I'm 
sweet. I missed one of the bonus barrels. That is interesting. I did not expect to miss one. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, jumping up through multiple ropes in the Super NES version is much harder because you will jump above the rope, fall, and then land on the rope. So, I very much appreciate the GBA version fixing that! First bonus, first bonus barrel was back there. Alright. <laughs> Two columns land on your head. That's not going to be a good day. I remember one of these cliff levels, yeah, like having a really well hidden bonus barrel. I guess it was this level. up here? Nope. Worth a shot. Always be on the lookout for, like, shadowy parts of the cliffside, because sometimes you can walk through those. Just up here. Oh my gosh. I thought that you could fall down to the end. Oh well. I found it. Well, that was an easy bonus barrel. Goodbye, Wild West music. So, if we go through this tunnel, we can go to Cranky's Dojo if we want. But again, no point in going there. So now it's time for, I believe, the last toboggan level in the game. Tear Away Toboggan. And this is one of those levels where it's like, it might be easier in the Super NES version, it might be easier in the GBA version. On the one hand, the Super NES version is faster, so you need better reflexes. But on the other hand, the GBA screen is much uh, smaller. And yeah, if we shoot on a diagonal there, we can go into a bonus barrel. Oh, that's right! This is one of those games where you actually need to use the t for to kill enemies. Piggyback ride! It's great that Dixie's, like, toddler cousin is the one giving the piggyback rides. Oh, yeah! So, yeah, it's, like, the only toboggan ride that actually is on a snow place. You want to go fast, jump up hills, and uh, just let the sled go down hills. That way you'll keep all of your momentum. Yeah, so this level is much faster in the Super NES version, but you can also see farther ahead of you. Whoa, what the heck? Did I hit something there? Also, I apparently had not faced uh, the checkpoint barrel yet. Uh, why is there a purple sky? Is there some kind of pollution going on here? Yeah, I don't think the Super NES version moves twice as fast, but it moves considerably faster. 
darn it! Why does the house kill you? Let's see what CJ meant when he said, like, nothing kills you there. You literally jump into- like, you jump on the roof of a house and you die mysteriously. I think it's technically because, like, there's, like, a little bit of pixels where it's, like, it's technically a wall on the house roof. Just so it can set- <sighs> That is getting old. Checkpoint barrel, at least. <laughs> that guy's just running for his life, apparently. Alright, the second bonus barrel, you do not want to go on the roof of the house. It's actually below the roof. Yeah, that's right. That's a hard one to get. You gotta jump in between the buzzers. And since you're moving on a sloped roof, that can be very difficult. Still, this is a pretty fun level. I like that they actually made a snow level where you ride in the toboggan. I don't think I'm getting maxed out lives at this rate. This game's a little stingy along the one-ups. Alright. There we go. Fifty stars and a toboggan. Great. Oh, that's actually quite easy. And let's end this terrible toboggan ride, shall we? Make sure you move past that bird so you can hit this guy with the steel keg. Plus, I think the steel keg respawns, so you can hit the bird anyways. Cool! Time for my least favorite level in the world, Barrel Drop Bounce. It's the final waterfall level. And this is not very snowy now, is it? So here's the gimmick. There are these barrels that slowly float down the waterfall. You need to use them as platforms. This is not a very fun gimmick. So if we float over to that direction... There is a coin over here, I want to say. Somewhere. Yeah. So what we're going to do, throw it upwards, it'll ricochet off that wall. Once again, get it to follow us, turn the coin around, just like that. Thank you, Dixie, for your hair. And now we can do a team throw to get that bonus barrel, or you can use the barrel to do as a platform. You choose! This is an annoying bonus barrel. Because you can, sometimes you can just barely jump from one barrel to the other. Team Pro is just easier to use to get into the bonus barrel. This is also one of those bonus barrels where, like, how well you can do it kind of depends on where the bananas choose to spawn. At least you get plenty of time. Alright, I guess that one's not too bad. I don't really like the barrel drop gimmick. Like, it's interesting, but... It's a bit annoying at times. I should come to think of it, I don't really like any of the waterfall gimmicks. Like, the rocket barrels are alright, but the tracker barrels are annoying. Woohoo! 
Oh, hi. Still, we got the coin and one of the bonus barrels and hit the checkpoint. And unless I'm mistaken, I think what you want to do is... Okay, I guess that barrel only appears if you're down low. This part's annoying! Very annoying. Hope you're really good at platforming at that part. Not what I wanted to happen. And of course, on the waterfall levels, you can fall super far. Because of the vertical nature of them. At least like the Wild West levels, which are also vertical levels. If you fall, it's usually not that big of a deal. Usually. Whereas the waterfall levels, it's like, oh, you fell? Oh, back to the beginning of the level for you. Alright. I don't know what to do about the buzzers there. Okay. I need Dixie Column, basically. Or... Oh, I see. Hi, Perry. To be fair, that fall would really, really hurt, if not outright kill somebody. Alright, I think I at least know where the last bonus barrel is though, so that'll make the level about a lot easier. Herboosh! Yep. Zigzag barrel time. Alright, come on. Sorry if my commentary for this level is not very good. Whoop. I'm sorry, I just I really don't like the waterfall levels. Thank you, Perry. I never could have gotten those without you. Lies. Although, admitted, admittedly, this Perry segment is a lot easier than the one on the other waterfall level. You could wait for that. You can also do the team throw. Ah, uh, two one-ups? That's worse than your usual reward. K-O-N-G, calm! Sweet. Alright, time... Well, do we have time for this level? You know what? We'll do Crack Shot Croc in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you for the next one. Have a great day, and God bless.